When Sky News joined the first US military helicopters to take aid into Aceh, the most striking thing as we landed was the absence of any children. Where are your children? Where are the children? Where are the children? No children. They've all gone. Across this region, thousands of children had died. Thousands more were left orphaned. The tsunami, particularly in Indonesia, was a real wake-up call for all of us that children are very vulnerable to exploitation and to trafficking when a, uh, an emergency has hit their community. And the normal mechanisms of family and community protection, which look after those children, are broken down. <laughs> For the aid agencies like UNICEF, one of the biggest challenges was keeping children safe. Bad people can prey on children in that situation and offer them what looks like a way out. Um, why do you want to stay in this terrible place amid all this destruction without your family? Come with me and I'll look after you and I'll take you somewhere else where things are not so bad. Intan Afriati was seven years old when the wave hit. She got swept up by the torrent in Banda Aceh and was dumped miles from her home, believing the rest of her family was dead. Jadi Intan terpisah di situ. Intan berjuang hidup di situ sendiri. I was struggling by myself. I was really starving, and I didn't know what to do. I felt like it was the end of the world. I asked for help, but nobody helped me. A young man befriended Ertan and took her back to his home, making her a virtual prisoner. He said he wanted to raise me, and when I grow up, he wanted to marry me. But I didn't want to do that because I was still a child. It was only when a distant relative spotted the seven-year-old and contacted her mother that she was rescued with the help of UNICEF workers. Mama ketemu sama orang-orang UNICEF. My mum met the UNICEF workers and the social workers and she asked them to help her to get me back. Ten years ago, Sky News found this boy, Martunis, wandering alone on a beach 19 days after the tsunami hit. The boy is just seven and a half. He told our Indonesian helper how he and his parents had tried to escape the tsunami in a vehicle. With the help of Save the Children staff, he was taken to hospital and reunited with his father. These hands would care for him, yes, but nothing could replace this hand. It is his father's, a hand he must have thought would never touch him again. After the tsunami, the Portugal football shirt he was wearing when he was found gave Martunis new chances in life. He was taken by FIFA to meet the Portuguese national team and his hero, Cristiano Ronaldo, went to Indonesia to see him. Many adults wouldn't be able to cope with what he's gone through. He's got a strong and mature personality. He's a special kid. Martunas now plays for a Real Madrid youth team in Banda Aceh. Football is my passion. My dream now is to play professional football, like Ronaldo. 